We look at Korea's main industries and foreign investor success stories to present Korea's outstanding investment environment. Explore potential opportunities to grow with Korea. Hello, I'm Shin Ayong. Robotics is the science of creating efficient and automated processes for tasks traditionally done by humans. It plays a significant role in making innovative changes in the manufacturing and service sectors. Then, what's in store for the Korean robotics industry? The market research company IDC forecasts the worldwide spending on robotics to reach $188 billion in 2020. According to the International Federation of Robotics, Korea has the second highest robot density in the world, with 868 units per 10,000 employees. Various companies are building their competitiveness in the robot market, such as Hyundai Motor Group that acquired Boston Dynamics. The number of commercial robots is increasing rapidly worldwide. Service robots in the fields of medicine, education, logistics, and security are making huge advancements due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The dramatic consumer shift to online shopping is bringing in robots to distribution centers, while the growth of the eco-friendly car industry is expected to promote investments in industrial robots. Manufacturers of vehicles, electronics, and other goods are introducing more and more advanced robot technologies in order to respond to consumer needs and reduce the production time. In Korea, there's a steady increase in the market sales of specialized service robots in the fields of logistics, caregiving, wearables, and medicine. Robots can now be seen not only at industrial sites, but also around us at coffee shops, shopping malls, clinics, and car parts. As part of the Korean New Deal, the Korean government launched a robot utility strategy network in July of 2020. Based on AI robot strategies, the government will invest $180 million until 2021 in R&D and distribution of industrial and serviced robots. The government is also running a regulatory sandbox to test the efficiency of robot-based services, making sure that old regulations do not hinder the progress of this high-tech industry. Korea is prompting the development of the robotics industry based on state-supported R&D, which will open new doors and opportunities to foreign invested companies. Based on this background, multinational robotics companies are already operating in Korea. Today, we'll meet one of them, a company that possesses global expertise and leading technology, Scheffler Korea, and listen to their successful investment story here in Korea. Many multinational companies are already in operation in Korea. Today, we'll meet one of them, a company that possesses global expertise and technology, Scheffler Korea. Let's find out more about their successful investments here in Korea. The Schaeffler Group is a global supplier of automobile and precision products and industrial robot systems. I met Schaeffler Korea with Mr. Robert Seidenkrantz, Chief Financial Officer of Schaeffler Korea. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's a nice office. Well, you should see our new office. Uh, we're moving soon. To where? Yoido. Oh, Yoido. That's a good place. Yeah, so that's excited. So this is still, I would say, the old office. But okay. uh, if you like this one, you will like the new one. I think I will. Okay. Why did Scheffler Group decide to enter the Korean market? So Korea is um, a very well-developed country. Uh, has an outstanding economic mm -hmm. development ever since the Korean War. Um, so it's a very well-developed uh, country, so, which means also that you have business opportunities. Uh, you have uh, the top five uh, automobile producer uh, is here, um, and this is a global 
customer of ours. So we want to be in the region for the region. We want to produce locally. We want to locally also connect to the customer. Um, and again, also in Korea, you have uh, these uh, 23 big uh, conglomerates, the J balls, the J balls. That provide a lot of uh, business opportunities. And we want to connect uh, to these um, customers very closely in mm -hmm. proximity. So you talked about the strong economy of Korea, and I think that's um, in part because of the strong push from the government. Now, um, in order to solve social issues caused by the pandemic, including the surge in parcel deliveries, the Korean government has decided to invest a lot. <laughs> a total of $180 million into developing and supplying robots this year. And now that's a 54% increase from last year. So there's this huge push. Also, very a lot of people are interested in, in seeing how the robots or the robotics will change our society. So there's interest, expectations, and push from the government. How has that changed your business? I think so the robot business is part of our industrial business um, in our three divisions that we have uh, for the industrial. So robots is fairly new mm -hmm. still, uh, but we have been using robots, I think, in our manufacturing areas um, mm -hmm. already for some uh, couple of years. So it's something that, as you mentioned, it's very, um, there's a big push. It's from governments, but also from, from companies. They heavily invest now in this area, uh, has a lot of potential. So, and, and the Scheffler Group is also um, uh, trying to f uh, identify their business opportunities coming from our, let's say, traditional manufacturing expertise, because also the components that you need for a robot, um, the drives, the uh, speed reducers are components that we are familiar with. We, we are familiar with the manufacturing process. And so we are uh, connecting here with the um, robot uh, manufacturers, also in Korea. There are several manufacturers, so we are connecting them, working with them together, doing collaborations, but also to um, do pilot projects like for smart factories, for example, mm. where we set up a project also with the 5G infrastructure to connect the robots, to make them to communicate. So I think that's something also where we're still learning. Everybody's still learning there, but there's also a lot of potential there. So based on your successful investments in Korea, what advice would you give to potential investors? So for anybody who is looking into investing into um, Korea, I think first of all, um, uh, for the entry, do your market study. I think Korea provides a lot of opportunities, as I mentioned, in many industries. Um, get connected to the official also chambers, Chamber of Commerce, it's, it is a trade association. I think that's what very helpful. Mm -hmm. I also connected there a lot. Scheffler is also a member there. So I think that's easy to connect, build your networks. Networks are extremely crucial. Mm -hmm. Doing business in Korea, yeah. um, networking is uh, key. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to understand a bit the setup um, and you should have realistic expectations also. Now it's, it will be a journey. You have to learn also mm -hmm. about the culture, which is for foreign investor um, new. So you have to be also open for uh, failure right. and try and error and, uh, yeah, and have a long-term perspective. I think that's mm -hmm. what I really, think is important, especially in Asia, also the relationships are always built over time. Um, and you have to uh, look at this also when you invest. You have to have a long-term perspective. Right, that's very good advice. Thank you, sir. Okay, so that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Okay. Pleasure. That was Mr. Robert Seidenkran, CFO of Scheffler Korea. FDI Focus wishes you all the success here in Korea. Goodbye and good luck.